What's going on? In this video, I wanna show you the best video settings for the Nikon D3300. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's hop right into the menu here and then right into the shooting menu, which is this menu right here. This is where everything that we're gonna be talking about is located at. And all these other menus are more personalized stuff that don't really have to do with the actual video quality itself. So we're gonna be focusing on this menu here and actually all this stuff is mostly for photography. And if you wanna see what all this stuff does and what you should set it at, check out my best photo settings video. I'll link it in the description and I'll actually go over all this stuff. But in this video, I'm gonna be just talking about the video settings or the movie settings right here. So there's not very many settings in here, so it's gonna be a short video. But again, if you wanna look at all of this other stuff and see what to set this stuff at, um, definitely check out my best photo settings video that goes more in depth on this stuff. But this is just a quick video about the best movie settings if you're getting started shooting videos with the D3300. So this is it, this is the menu right here for video settings. So first things first, start out with the frame size slash frame rate. So if you click on that, there's a couple different options here. And the main ones you wanna use are this one, this one, and this one. So these are all the 1080p video options. And 1080p video is definitely what you wanna record in. 720p or even lower are just not usable right now in 2020. So you wanna keep it at the 1920 by 1080. And then this right here are the different frame rate. For most videos, 24p or 24 frames a second is what you wanna record them in. And it looks really cinematic and uh, it just looks normal and natural. So for most videos, you wanna just shoot 1920 by 1080 at 24p. Now you can also use 1920 by 1080 at 30p. Uh, it just doesn't look as cinematic, it looks more smooth. And for example, if you've ever seen a soap opera, how it just looks a little different than a movie, that's what 30p is. It's more smooth motion, but I would recommend 24 frames a second for just the best, most natural looking videos. And then right up here, 60p or 60 frames a second, is good for slow motion videos. So when you slow 60 frames a second down to a 24 frame a second timeline, it slows it down to a 40% speed. And so this is really good smooth slow motion. Uh, so if you wanna record slow motion videos, 60p is the way to go. Next up, movie quality. You're just gonna keep this at high quality all the time. It records a higher bit rate and basically just a higher quality video. There's really no point in going to normal, so just keep it at high quality. It'll record the best quality possible. And then down here, microphone. So this right here, I actually set a manual because I usually have a lav mic or a shotgun mic plugged into this camera. And what I do is go to manual and I can control this so it's right around the 12 when I'm talking. So basically you can test this out by, you know, just doing an example. Uh, maybe if you're recording a video of yourself talking, then just go into this setting right here and talk like you would in the video. And basically you just set this so it's right around the 12 mark right there. So as you can see, that's about good right there. Uh, maybe just a little lower. So that right there, it hits about the 12 all the time, which is perfect. Now you can also set this on auto, and it'll basically just try to keep it right around the 12 mark. Uh, but what it can do is sometimes just distort your audio a little bit, and you know, it makes quiet things super loud and make loud things seem really quiet, and pretty much just evens things out, which is the main point of it. Uh, but a lot of times it just makes things sound kind of weird which is why I go to manual sensitivity for the mic. And then obviously if you don't want to record audio and you just want video, you can go right here and turn the microphone off. Next up, wind noise reduction. So this is for your audio and it basically tries to get rid of any wind noise if you're outdoors during a windy situation. But I find that this actually doesn't work very well and it sometimes makes the audio just sound bad and really like muffled. So I keep this off because I usually try to just not shoot when it's windy in the first place and that works a lot better than trying to turn this on and just make your audio sound all weird and gross. And right here, the last thing, this is also important, manual movie settings, you wanna keep this on. So this allows you to change things like your ISO, your shutter speed and your aperture while recording a video. Now, if you don't know what any of that stuff is, then definitely look into it and look up just camera basics or something like that. I'm not really gonna go over that because there's so many videos about those. So that actually wraps up the video settings, this whole menu here. So like I said, in my other video about best photo settings, I went over in depth in all of this stuff right here. So definitely check out that video so you can find the best photography settings. And I hope that'll help you with setting up your camera as well. 
So that wraps up the video settings for the Nikon D3300. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. And also feel free to check out my other videos. I've made some more videos about the Nikon D3300 as well as the, some other Nikon cameras and Sony cameras and stuff like that. So feel free to check out my videos and go down and hit the subscribe button. And also like this video if you enjoyed it and if it helped you out. And besides that, that wraps this video up. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.